So you must be wondering what we'll learn today. Well, we are going to find out why objective is context dependent. In our last class, we studied the objectives of testing. Today, we will learn how objective is context dependent. Our first topic is component testing. We will find out how objective is context dependent with respect to component testing. The first point here is that the object of component testing is to find as many defects as possible. This is the lowest level of testing. If we find all the defects here, we can avoid fault multiplication. This is why it's important to find most of the defects in component testing. This is the main objective of component testing. The second point is to increase the code coverage. The more number of requirements we check, the more defects we can locate. And this will let us avoid fault multiplication. This is the objective of component testing. But when we take a look at acceptance testing, we find something different. In acceptance testing, we try to confirm whether the requirements have been fulfilled. The objective here is not to find the defects. If we do find any, we document them. But the main objective is to confirm that the requirement has been fulfilled. The second reason we do acceptance testing is to inform the stakeholder that the product is working as intended. If it's not, then we report the problem to the stakeholder. So this is how component testing differs from acceptance testing. Let's use our summary page to go over the points again. We have component testing and acceptance testing. What we need to remember is that their objectives for testing are different. In component testing, we try to find the defect. In acceptance testing, we try to confirm that all the requirements have been fulfilled. The second point is that with component testing, we try to increase the code coverage, while with acceptance testing, we gather the information and give it to the stakeholder. This is how, depending upon the context, our testing objective varies. That's all from this lesson. I'll see you in the next one. Happy testing.